Now for, for the introduction, and it's between Anthony Hembrick and Rusty Rosenberger. Light heavyweights, 10 rounds. Here is Jimmy Lennon. All right, fans, here we go. We continue with our boxing action. Our next fight coming your way once again as a feature bout scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. We present light heavyweights in the ring. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the blue corner wearing chunks of the same color navy blue trunks. He is fighting out of Niles, Ohio. His weight this evening, this afternoon, excuse me, is 177 and one quarter pounds. His fine record, 20 victories, only six losses, 10 wins by way of knockout. Please welcome to the ring, Rusty Rosenberger. And his opponent across the ring. On my right, fighting out of the red corner in this 10 round light heavyweight bout. His trunks are red with blue trim, and he is fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, by way of Beckley, West Virginia. His weight this afternoon is 177 and three quarter pounds. Now he is the former captain of the 1988 U.S. Olympic boxing team. As a professional, his fine record, 17 wins, only one loss. He has nine wins by way of knockout. He's ranked the number nine contender in the world by the IBF, ranked number five contender by the USBA, introducing Anthony Hollywood Hembrill. <laughs> Referee in charge of this 10 round bout, Commander Sergeant Major Carl J.J. Johnson. So Anthony Hembrick back into the ring for the first time since February when he scored a fourth round knockout against Keith McMurray. And in January, an eight round victory over Israel Cole. As you look at the tail of the tape, Anthony Hembrick has been busy fighting twice this year. Rusty Rosenberger fighting in January against Soviet Albert Guchigov and knocked out in the fourth round against Guchigov. So here we go. The first of 10 rounds, Hembrick, Rosenberger. Hembrick's a very talented uh, young fighter. He was Olympic, uh, idiot Olympic captain, uh, idiot Olympic boxing team. 25, 25 years old, Anthony Hembrick. He has an outstanding jab, which is used very well. He's got a lot of height for, for his weight and knows how to use it. His great legs, great leg movement. He's got all the tools uh, to be a world champion. I think it all, it's all up to him uh, at this point mentally of uh, how disciplined he's going to be about his career. Well, Hembrick's corner has said they would love a shot eventually against an Andres or French Charles Williams. Maybe a title shot within the year against Andrew Maynard. Who knows? Anthony Hembrick is being groomed for light heavyweight championship bouts in the future. No question about that. Rusty Rosenberger all, already sporting a little mouse there over the left eye. And in all truthfulness, Rusty Rosenberger is in shape. He's got a program back in Ohio called Rusty's Boxer Size. He works on a lot of clients in Niles, Ohio, but Rusty has not put in the rounds, and that's a pure and simple fact. He has just not been sparring. He's in today as an opponent. We'll see how he holds up. Well, he's, got, he's gotten hit twice low, and uh, he's getting hit now. So, yeah, it's a whole different story of doing aerobics and sparring in the gym. <laughs> Anthony Hembrick coming out with mean intentions. He's landed some very, very good body punches. And uh, maybe somebody told him that uh, Rosenberg wasn't uh, doing much sparring. So he's going to be soft in the body. Anthony's only loss that first round flash knockout against Booker Ward back in 1990. And it turns out Booker Ward has become a top 10 light heavyweight contender himself. Caught. Hembrick early, but now Hembrick catching Rosenberger up against the ropes. Let's 
strictly a puncher's chance for Rusty Rosenberger, but so far, you get the feeling that Anthony Hembrick has come to win. And we'll be back with round two from Aloha Stadium. Hembrick and Rosenberger, they're just a man. Round two, and not only is Rusty Rosenberger stepping up in class, but he is fighting with a drifting left eye. It was an eye that was damaged 14 fights ago, and he really has problem even out of the ring focusing on, on objects in front of him. And oh, so how are you going to do against a, a world-class opponent like Anthony Hembrick? Well, certainly the first round gave us a good indication that Hembrick is all business. He really is, and you can see the, uh, the arsenal. I mean, he's got all the shots, uppercuts. Carl yeah. Johnson now splitting the two fighters apart after a low shot by Anthony Hembrick and the warning. Well, they're and, taking a point away. And the deduction. Boy, Anthony moves well, punches sharply. And for a tall big man, he really has a lot of good skills. Oh, definitely. He's got all the punches I was saying before. Good, good jab, right hand, left hook, works the body well, throws good uppercuts. Oh, and fast hands. <laughs> Well, if Rusty's in shape, he finishes off Rusty Rosenberger without much further ado. Well, what a great class of 88. Carver Hall, Maynard, Mercer, McKinney, Riddick, Bowe. Hembrick did not meddle. He, of course, missed the bus. Missed the bus and missed his bout. <laughs> he said uh, Rosenberger definitely has a puncher's chance. It looks like he punches pretty good, but he's got to throw punches and. Uh, up to this point, uh, he hasn't done much, but he's trying now. Oh, he just walked into a left hook. And a right hand. Oh. He's eight, another cut. Oh, it looks like it's coming. So Rosenberger. Taken all the punishment, and it's been stopped in the second round by referee Carl Johnson. As Rosenberger staggers over to congratulate Victor Hembrick, Anthony Hembrick with the early victory. And he improves to 18 and 1 in his young career. Anthony's only 25 years old. Hembrick's third victory of 1991, keeping busy. And again, as we say, Hembrick looking for world-class competition now within the next year. And he looked like a world-class fighter in this second round. There's a left hook. There's Rosenberg walking right into a left hook. And I think that started it. Watch this now. Sets up the jab, right hand. Room right down the pike. Outstanding right hand. Nice combination. Here we go again. That's the uppercut classic underneath. Left hook down to the body, and that was over. Outstanding work by Hendricks. Uh, he has all the shots. You can see there. So stopped in the second round. And we go to Jimmy Lennon for the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. Two minutes, 12 seconds in round number two. The referee in charge, J.J. Johnson, stops the contest. The winner by way of TKO, Anthony Hollywood Hembrick. Well, Hembrick looks like he could run another mile or two in the sun here in Oahu. Looks fresh as a daisy. And at 177, he's been a good sparring partner in recent weeks for Tommy Hearns out in Los Angeles, as Tommy looks forward to his fight with Virgil Hill. And of course, Tommy's got business this afternoon. We'll see him in the ring a bit later on. Coming up next, though, former welterweight champ, Milt McCrory. We'll be back with more of our fighter-to-fighter -fighter card from Honolulu, Hawaii, right after this.